Good afternoon. We're Metro Orlando Judo Kai. We do a Judo, Kodokan Judo from Japan, Jiu Jitsu, and fitness. As soon as we get our mats down, we'll start our demonstration. We're going to start by showing some of the throwing techniques used in Kodokan Judo. Judo is an Olympic sport, martial art. It's actually the oldest Olympic sport, martial art that's a sport. Uh, it was in the Olympics in 1964, still is a big Olympic sport. We just had the first time in a, a U.S. Uh, got a gold medal in the uh, Olympics this summer in Judo. So we will begin our demonstration. We're going to start with throwing techniques, tachiwaza. Going to be with leg techniques. First technique will be knee throw. Second will be foot sweep. Third will be osotogari, major outside reach. will be based off the hand, teiwaza, hand techniques. First technique will be buki otoshi, <coughs> floating drop. The next technique will be ippon sanagi, one arm shoulder throw. Next technique will be Tai Otoshi, body drop. The next group of throws are based off the hip, Koshiwaza, hip techniques. First one is Ogoshi, major hip throw. Every movie you see, every TV show, Star Trek, you see this type of throw. Also common in wrestling. The next technique is Harai Goshi, sweeping hip. The next technique is a counter throw called Ushuda Goshi. Alex is going to attack, I'm sorry, Andrew is going to attack, Alex is going to counter. Ushiro Goshi. The next group of throws are called sacrifice techniques because the person throws himself to the ground to generate the momentum for the throw. First technique is Tomoanagi. You'll see this always in the old western cowboy movies. The next one is called Tawara Gaeshi. It means rice bag reversals when someone goes for both legs. Finishes in a ground position. The next technique will be side sacrifices, Yoko Tomonagi and Ukiwaza. Techniques that are very common in modern competition judo. First technique will be Kouchi Makikomi. The next technique will be Karaguruma, 
by Sensei Chris Wurtz. The next technique will be drop Seonagi. will be reverse seonagi, reverse shoulder throw. And the last technique is sode sonikomigoshi. The second part of judo is groundwork, so usually the throw is followed through by the ground, not only in sport but also self-defense. So right now we're going to demonstrate some basic groundwork techniques and then we're going to go to some more advanced ones. countered by an uh, arm block. Kansetsu Waza, an arm locking technique. The next technique will be a throwing technique into a ground technique, passing the guard into a hole. Again, judo is both groundwork and standing work, so it's very important to be able to follow through on the ground. We're next going to show some variations of some self-defense moves from judo and jiu-jitsu.
that concludes our performance. Metro Orlando Judokan, thank you for your attention. Let's have another round of applause for Orlando Judokan.